Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to tell you all about our spring into it's, fun. It's it's fall. It's fall. Our fall back into fun. Introducing our Bravo Six. What are they called? Introducing the Bravo Six Alpha Desert Ops Super Shirt 2.0. That was supposed to explode. Oh my god. All right, yep. here's the deal. People are tired of buying your China crap that's overproduced and overhyped. Um, so first of all, what we did, we made a quality product that is very quality. That's our slogan now. Very quality. Can I put that all the way across the screen? Very quality. Thank you very much for your time. We literally put in the product description that it doesn't feel like a six pound tarantula is crawling up your back because there's an actual quality tag in the back that doesn't feel like a six pound tarantula. All right, what we also did is made your apparel not only a shirt, but it brings you to unreleased videos that are made only for you. So a lot of people are complaining how there's not enough videos. The reality is, well, sometimes those videos are demonetized or run into issues with production or we're waiting on music to be approved there's a, lot of, there's a lot of roadblocks for YouTube, whereas if we upload that on our own website, there's no issues. So I figure the easiest way is you buy a shirt, you have access to all the videos. So there's some quirks we're still working out. Like for some reason, every time everyone opens a website, it says you sad piece of garbage all over this. I don't know. We can't fix it. It keeps popping up. So we're working on it. For now, there's only one video. I don't know. There's more now. But there's unreleased stuff. So there's cars in here that you don't know about. You don't know. Yeah, it's, it's got a nice distressed look, but yeah, long story short, I'm really happy with this. I don't want to make shirts just to sell shirts. No one wants a crappy shirt that looks like all the other shirts is overproduced and overhyped and shrinks in five seconds and feels like crap. So I said if I was going to make apparel, if I was going to make shirts, I would make quality shirts. So that's what we did. So I'm actually proud of this shirt. You guys don't know it. You, you don't know how proud I am of this. I'm really happy with it. So for everyone that bought it, th we have had zero bad reviews. Other than the people threatening to kill me, we have had zero bad reviews. Try it out, guys. At least buy it. Buy it before you try it. This drop is only live. These two shirts are only live for three days. So yeah, well, 99 hours, whatever that comes out to. And all the money from these shirts is going to be used to fix my door that blew up again. Dude, why did we do it? Look at that crater. Holy cow. People are buying like the Mercedes. Whoa! <laughs> it, it's just like all these kids buying like the the what the G wagon, and then they just yeah the G wagon. Oh, it's an yeah, off road yeah, yeah. vehicle, isn't it? And everyone just drives it downtown LA, and I'm like, what? Why? Dude, I think this is his place. This is. Yeah, it is. There he is. Oh, oh, no. Dude, why is the yard covered in grass? There are zero tire tracks in the yard. Someone planted flowers. Maybe let it warm up. Huh. Does anyone remember these? These are the tires from Monster Max Zero. All right, I thought we'd rig up a little treat for everyone since we're driving within one mile of my childhood place. All the inherited money that my family, zoom in on the trash as we're walking. All of the, all the money that my family inherited, all the money I came from, all the money that my parents gave me, all came from here. All the money that my dad gave me, the, all the G-Wagons my dad bought me, my inheritance money that my family gave me. Anyways, we're gonna drive the G-Wagon in the bottomless mud hole one last time. So we have it hooked up to a chain, it's all ready to go, and there's a thousand feet of mud right here. Man, this is nasty. No one's touched it in a while. You gotta keep these clean, you gotta get stuck in them once a year. Okay, so it's up in there, it has not been driven, and just watch some old videos. Look up like bottomless mud pit, you'll see. There's a whole series we made, because that's all we had. You would go, even go swimming in the bottomless mud pit. You spent the next 12 hours picking off leeches, mites, ticks, fleas, termites, lice, diseases. How do you pick a disease? Leeches. This is a very unorthodox situation. This mud will never expect to see a G-Wagon. Mm. After swallowing up many cows and horses and leeches, you're only seeing just the surface of it. Hey, throw a yam into it. Watch how it disappears. Look, Sweet potato. Watch, watch it disappear. <laughs> That thing just went down. 
That thing just sang so far. You couldn't even hear it hit the bottom. You hit it so many times with a sledgehammer, it finally hits. This tractor's done a lot, hasn't it, Bob? <laughs> well, it's tried to do a lot. <laughs> You don't think it's going? No. It'll no? Fly in. Front end will sink like a submarine. All right, I cannot see anything over those bushes, so we're just gonna go for it. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, there's water coming in. There's water coming in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going, it's going. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Did it run? It's still run. I think Bob was right. You don't think it's going? Dude. <laughs> oh no. What? Look at the front. The logo's gone. <sighs> it ate it. <laughs> We're not getting that back out. There's a Mercedes logo in there somewhere and I really want it. There's a spring underneath. Yeah, from, no, what ocean is on the other side of the earth that's pushing up? There you go. You can see there with the spring still bubbling. Yeah. It's the Indian Ocean. <laughs> it's draining the Indian Ocean through that onto the in Indiana. That's why they call it the Indian Ocean because it drains over to Indiana. Oh, we lost it. Right. Doing it again? Yeah, I think so. See, it's been doing this, right? Put it in drive and it doesn't move. Oh, that was. Yeah. As in. Is the parking brake on? And then it'll work all of a sudden. <laughs> See, stop. I think our trans is blown. You hear it? That's what I heard before. I shut it off right away so we shouldn't have any water in there. But... Um. Yeah, there's water over our hood. We're not getting the more second you back. The water can't even come in because the mud is like sealing it. <laughs> This, I'm telling you, this mud sinks too. It hasn't been stirred up in like two years. It stinks just as bad when you stir it up, though. Wow. Um, I am like really right, dude. The water's halfway the up water's my door. The water's halfway up our door, and it's not coming in. Always the second time that'll get you. Ah, there we go. There we go. You gonna find our Mercedes logo? I don't think so. The water was up to here. And it was not coming in. At all. Very good door seals. So how would you rate this compared to the Jeep? To the Jeep? Yeah. This is like a 47 and the Jeep is a two. Jeep and we have Walmart Jeep or is this the Jeep and that's the Walmart Jeep someone copied someone because these two vehicles are literally identical except one actually works this is our Jeep tree we planted this back in 2021 that's well, a problem. we broke it yeah this I is why I would not trust you to build my house we could concrete that tree into the ground well cost me like eight grand and he just drives off. <laughs> 
<laughs> they got this rebar sticking right out the front. <laughs> it's, it's not quite shaped how I wanted. Just because it's not perfect doesn't mean it can't work. And it's sprouting a new Jeep. The problem is you can't uproot them because they're concrete. You only see the top six feet of them and the root system is 10,000 times as big. So the roots to this concrete tree go down like 30 something miles. So there's no way to uproot it. So you gotta kill it. So I shot it with a 50 cal. Ideally, we would build another statue with a G-Wagon here. But the, the parts pickers would be oh, every night. Out here, yeah. Gotta get them. Wagon poachers. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Spot Bob. Over. <laughs> I'll get back later. <laughs> Wait, that's plastic. This is plastic. No wonder it's freaking... The whole rear bumper is plastic. I thought that'd be metal. Hey, the good news is that plastic just brings right back into place, though, too. People hate on plastic more than they should, actually. Plastic doesn't rust, either. You know Bob? That weld shop? Yeah. They don't like me at that weld shop. Because one time I asked him to build me a ballistic missile. They're Amish. And he said he didn't want to because of liability. Like, you can't be, build me a ballistic missile. He wouldn't do it. I, yeah. So I built it myself. Uh, you, almost, you cleaned it too good, Bob. Th that was not installed very, very well. Very well at all. Easily, though. Seriously, like... <laughs> yeah, I don't want to push it too hard until we figure out what's going on with everything. Oh, <sighs> oh no. <laughs> It's not what you want to see. I mean, hold up. <laughs> well, it did get very wet. How deep was it? It was up to here. Yeah. No, this is from the 100 foot jump. Okay. We nose dive. Okay, I see, I see the fix here. Yeah, we fixed oh. both of those lines. Because yeah. this is all pushed in and the tire was hitting it. Yep. We hit the jump so hard, every fender liner just ejected immediately, except this <laughs> one. I mean, that helped with a lot of the mud. <laughs> I mean, that cleaned a lot of the mud off the bottom, so. <laughs> Dude, it handles that so much better than any other vehicle. Like that. <laughs> the Hilux was like bouncing three times after it came off. Yeah, though. Um, Good luck with it. <laughs>